gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we are at Hooters. You already know. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're at Five Guys. Hey, ignore that. Ignore that. Well, I'm, I'll never go to a Hooters in my life because uh, I'm a loyal man. But you already know. Um, anyways, guys, we at Five Guys today. A little bit of backstory. I tried in and out. I'm rushing the video a little bit just because my camera battery might die on you guys, and I have to try this burger. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and open up the burger. But a little bit of backstory while I open up the burger. I tried in and out. Uh, before I slow slow down slow down I bet my bad my bad but I tried in and out before in California it was really really good it didn't hit the nines for me though it was really good but it wasn't like it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be it, it was really natural but it, it was it, it was a better burger than McDonald's Wendy's and all those other fast food places but I just felt like there was a better burger out there and I never tried five guys before so this is my first time trying it like I said and this is that better burger that I thought maybe I might find at five guys so already this burger's looking a lot messier than the In-N-Out burger and a lot more like fuller. Um, the In-N-Out burger, I'll probably get that like an 8.6 just for a little backstory. No, no shade on In-N-Out. No shade on In-N-Out. Shout out Phaedra. He loves In-N-Out. Oh my God. Better than In-N-Out. You gotta tell them what you put in it. Let's be real. Oh, what I put in it? So I have A1 sauce in here. I have everything like mushrooms, onions, lettuce, pickles, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, cheese, double patty, like sesame seed buns. Like, oh my God, this burger is amazing. Totally worth the price, honestly. Now that, like, one of the reasons we haven't gone here is because of the price, bro. This place be expensive, but. Yo, this is bomb. It's the nines. It's the nines. I don't care what anybody says. Maybe it's because I'm really hungry. This is a 9.1 burger. And if you haven't tried Five Guys, try it for yourself and let me know what you think. Because for me, it's a 9.1. I'm going to place this on the table really quickly because we're going to finish that in a second. And I'm just going to eat like two fries just to try out their fries. But they load up the fries. I don't know if you guys can see that. But they load up the fries, like absolutely, which is really cool too. But they're like Cajun seasoned, which is cool. Mmm. I like that seasoning. I like that seasoning. Huh? They need salt. I dropped one. Yeah, they need a little bit of salt um, to balance out that Cajun seasoning. But like, I'll probably get a fries like a 7.4. They're fries, you know, like you can't go too wrong. I think these fries are slightly better than In-N-Out fries as well, bro. And like, bro, you guys know. I overhyped. It's a double fry method. Hey, hey, hey. I oh, The double fry method is the best method, by the way. But I overhyped. I know that because I used to work at Five Guys. I think I overhyped in and out when I reviewed it, but I'm not sure. Um, But I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't know. in and out is just, it's not, it, it doesn't do it for me. It, it doesn't do it. It's very mid. Like, it's good. It's good, though. It's good. But it's not something you travel across the country for. Fun fact, our ex-boss, that stupid bitch, Angela, by the way, she went to, <gasps> bro. <laughs> She went to In-N-Out, bro, she made her boyfriend go to In-N-Out, and we were living in Colorado. She made her boyfriend drive over two hours to the nearest In-N-Out just because she was craving In-N-Out that day, bro. Like, and, and the nearest town was an hour away, so she made him drive like two and a half hours. No, she wasn't pregnant. For her dumb ass, bro. Like, but hey, In-N-Out is not all that good. But if she did that for Five Guys, it would make sense. Anyways, I don't mean to dick ride Five Guys. Five Guys, you guys did a great job. I love you guys. Let me go tip the employees, guys. <laughs> yeah, right, we broke. Really quick, Julie took a couple bites of her burger, but she got her burger lettuce wrapped. So she pretty much got essentially some of the similar things as me. Um, the main mushroom, the, the, onion. mushroom, onions, ketchup, you know, tomatoes, everything. The difference is the lettuce. So let's try it. Mm. Yo. It's really refreshing. That's some really fresh lettuce. And it is refreshing. It is refreshing. It gets messy. Like, it gets messier than your traditional burger, but nevertheless, really good. Um, I'd probably give the lettuce wrap version an 8.2. Not the best. Um, In-N-Out definitely beats that, but I, f I feel like In-N-Out's lettuce wrap is better, even though I haven't tried it. Yeah, he's never tried it. He don't know what he's talking about. Okay, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it, so I can't talk if I haven't tried it. Also, I just wanted to make a comment. He didn't add extra ketchup. Oh, that's true. I didn't add extra ketchup. And that's how you know the burger is bomb because I'm a ketchup maniac, bro. I, I devour ketchup like it's nobody's business. So the fact that I didn't add ketchup, extra ketchup, is crazy. <laughs> how's that? How's that? Huh? Mm. <laughs> it's so good, bro. It's so good. 
I took a little bite, by the way. I took a really small bite. Give it a rating. Camera's dying. Um. Um. Out of ten. Um. Seven point six. Seven point six. Damn. Yeah. That low. Well, it's just because I used to work there, so I kind of have a little grudge. Yeah, she do have a grudge against them. But, but, their burgers are good. And I can tell you for a fact that everything is fresh. They get their groceries delivered in the mornings every day. And every day there is somebody prepping everything, cutting up the tomatoes, making the burgers by hand. Like, these don't come frozen. These are packages of ground beef that we have to sort through and, like, make the balls and everything. So, yes, sir. it's totally worth the price. It's totally worth it. I think so. I didn't think it was before I tried the food, but after I tried the food, it's worth it. And Julie was telling me that five guys are needed to run the store. That's why it's called Five Guys. So that's yeah. actually a fun fact for you guys. Yeah, so like uh, the owner of Five Guys, or like the person who created Five Guys, basically did it um, for like to help out some co a group of college students. Um, and they needed at least five guys to run the kitchen because you have the bread station, the burger station, the fry station uh, milkshake quality control and then you also have the person who needs to be in the back prepping and cutting the potatoes and refilling everything exactly so, yeah i'm out peace